December 17, 2014 How can I forget that day? The day when the greatest miracle of my life happened. I was at my lowest point, very confused about what to do next. It was on that day that I finally decided to quit my job and pursue my love for writing. So I went to the Adoration Chapel to seek refuge to plead God for answers. Reading my prayer journal, I recalled God's faithfulness in my life for the past years. And so I uttered a bold prayer. Lord, I believe you called me to be a writer. Please give me a writing mentor. I went to that Adoration Chapel and I knelt down to pray. And I was praying for a little while, and then I just happened to look over my shoulder. Whoa, she's beautiful. I kept on like stealing glances at her. Guys, you know what that's like. And it was, there was like the desire was in my heart to, to get to know her. And so I waited, I waited. And yes, guys, I waited. Right after I uttered the prayer, give me a mentor, and I saw that person. And the amazing part is he approached me, and he gave me a calling card. When I flipped to the calling card, I was just crying. I couldn't stop my tears because it said on the card, I'm a Catholic missionary and author from New Zealand. So, oh my gosh, I prayed for a mentor, and he is an author. So, it's just, I just really felt in my heart that it was the perfect answer to my prayer. We actually developed a very close bond as friends very quickly, and I felt especially besties very quickly, which um, was really surprising, but also really heartwarming at the same time. We came running together, and after running, we would open the Bible, we would share about the gospel, go to Mass together every afternoon, we would go to the adoration. So the friendship really is uh, based on God's love. It is really God who is the foundation of our friendship. Yet Ellie was, she was very into purity and it was so, so refreshing and is exactly what I needed. And I know God was laughing in heaven, you know, because he's been writing our love story and he's been teaching both of um, us to seek him first and to, to love his way. So it's amazing because as we wrote Worth the Chase, we lived it. We just kept on growing in love over that time with ups and downs as like any relationship. Gorgeous. <laughs> Super compassionate heart. This is a lady that, when I saw her loving a disabled woman, it just broke my heart. It was like, wow. So thoughtful and sweet. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for bringing joy to my life. Thank you for changing my life. And thank you for being my destiny. Because no matter what, you are God's great, gorgeous gift to my life. No matter what, Ellie, which finger is it? Is it that one? That one. Okay, see I'm an amateur here. So like we have the most amazing love story because of God that we met in an adoration chapel that we became best friends first and that it was over the death of my brother that we actually fell in love. And that really shows that God is the author of our love. So, I love you and will love you forever. On the 21st of April 2016, we got married at the same church where we first met.
They say, love comes when you least expect it. I say, love comes when we surrender our life to the true source of love, to the author of life himself. God is love. We love because God first loved us. Marriage is not just a union of two hearts, but a union of two imperfect people, perfectly loved by a perfect God. Marriage should be a reflection of Christ's love for us. It is beautiful, yet challenging beyond words, because love is sacrifice. The cross that comes in marriage is not a roadblock on the way to true joy, but a ladder to climb to the very heaven of love itself. When we intensify our love for God and look at our spouse as a precious gift from God, then love can last a lifetime. 